Don't mistake this picture for just a simple cellulitis. Let's talk about a true surgical emergency and a must know for your ITEs, infectious flexor tenosynovitis or FTS. FTS is an infection of the synovial tendon sheath and it is an absolute race against the clock. This is a surgical emergency. Missing this can rapidly cause ischemia, necrosis, contracture at the site of the infection. And if you don't get this patient to the right place on time, they could lose their digit. Now, to make this diagnosis, you need to know the four cannibal signs, and you have to know which one is the most sensitive. Sign number one, the finger is postured in slight flexion at rest. Sign number two is fusiform swelling, a distinct, even sausage-like swelling across the entirety of the finger. Sign number three, there is diffuse, exquisite tenderness along the entire tendon sheath. Palpate along the entire volar aspect of the finger. The pain isn't just at the joint, it's along the entire tendon tract. And finally, number four, often the most sensitive sign is pain with passive extension of the digit. You do this and the patient will jump in pain. A 2017 study in the journal Hand showed that pain with passive extension of the digit is 97% sensitive. So it is the most early reliable indicator to make sure that you don't miss this diagnosis on physical exam. A good rule of thumb or finger, pun intended, is that if you have two or more cannibal signs, you should have a high degree of suspicion for flexor tenosynovitis. But if it's early in the course or if the patient is immunocompromised, you may only see one. If you're concerned about this diagnosis, make sure you call a hand specialist for possible IND in the OR, start antibiotics and save that hand. And remember your four cannibal signs, finger held in passive flexion, fusiform swelling, pain down the tendon sheath, and of course our most sensitive sign, pain with passive extension. You've got your quick hit, now go crush your shit.